What did you see enough of last night, Mike? You'd like to see carried over here tonight to, to get a split in the back of it? Well, I thought we had good energy. I thought uh, in the O zone, I thought we had great chances. I didn't think we finished on them, but I didn't like how we played in our own zone, our execution. And uh, so in the end, that led to time in our zone. We didn't box out very good at our own net. and didn't, didn't play with the detail in our own zone on the execution side or on the keeping away from our net side that we'd like to. Any other lineup changes tonight aside from McElhaney? No, uh, season's in. Foley's out. Lots of good players have come out of there, but some good coaches as well. Is it kind of a pretty good coaching fraternity in Saskatchewan? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I didn't, you know, I, I should know, but I didn't know that. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, Regina Pats are holding the Memorial Cup this year. It's fantastic. John Paddock runs a real good show there. Uh, I'm from Saskatchewan. Played a lot of games there over the years and uh, proud to be from there. Lots of hockey players in Saskatchewan, a lot of pride in hockey. And, you know, a lot of small town rinks uh, where a lot of kids grew up and enjoyed it. So uh, it's great that it's out there, and I'm sure they're having lots of fun. I know you can't be at the Olympics for obvious reasons, but your impact is still felt. And I don't know if you realize the women's team, curling team, blogged about your phone call last night, Mike. And, <laughs> and just, just what, just reaching out that sort of thing, what that means to you to do that for for people like that and what they're doing. Well, just to have the opportunity to be an Olympian, I never knew how big a deal it was until you got there and you were with the other athletes. And so you're there representing your your country and your sport, but you don't realize you're part of a much bigger team. And as you get involved in that, uh, you develop some friendships, and some of those have lasted a long, long time. And, and I'm a curling fan. I love curling. And, you know, I reached out uh, when they won just to say good luck and then tried to follow up with that. Uh, you know, you'd bump into those athletes, and you'd end up talking, and and you try to they try to help you and you try to help them so uh, I wish all Canadians well obviously had some better success on the second night of back to back this season than last do you see a difference in how your team's playing this year on these second nights as opposed to last year yeah we're better any, any particular area we're better yes yeah. <laughs> we got better players we're we're older we're a better team uh, you got a better chance you don't have to be as good I mean the stats what the stats show everything about it is if your back to backs aren't right after the Christmas break right after the all-star break or right at the start of the year you have a better chance confidence and fitness how much is it too that the guy who goes in and Freddie's not in is doing a really good job for you right now oh no he's done a good job for us but he's done a good job since he's been here he's just a good man who helps Freddie uh, doesn't get in the way of what Freddie's trying to do uh, is a good pro to our guys makes our guys better and when it's his turn he's ready to go and that's I can't say enough about that how have Leo and Cappy complimented each other to give you some grit and speed on that fourth line well I thought really good I didn't think uh, they had as good a night last night just the way it goes uh, but I, we need them here today and, and the other thing about them is they can play against anybody which is real important and gives you the right kind of minutes you need I didn't do as good enough job managing that part last night but also you know if they get out and they get going and they get on top of the opposition they earn more and so we need that tonight from being able to score, what did you like from the Bozak line specifically what they did better last night well they worked we competed Bozy skated as good as he's ever skated competed hard was on the puck uh, James was on the forecheck Brownie who you know I consider him a worker B anyway uh, had to get to another level again and, and then I thought he did but I thought those guys were good for us they provided energy they played in the offensive zone they were good and you know it's important for those guys anytime you come off it a little bit you're not feeling as good about yourself if you can have a good game and you get right back on it feeling good it's important for the team